Hello and welcome to section 3.3. We've defined the derivative in terms of a limit. For most functions, that limit is going to be overwhelmingly difficult to take. So we need a way of finding derivatives that is not that to limit. In this section, we start building up our toolbox. We'll learn to take the derivatives of a few elementary functions functions, and we'll learn to take the derivatives of arithmetic combinations of functions. That is to say, if we know how to take the derivative of x squared, and we know how to take the derivative of the sine of x, then using the material of this section, we'll be able to take the derivative of x squared plus the sine of x or x squared minus the sine of x, or times the sine of x, or divided by the sine of x.